I have zero doubt, obviously, that Jimmy Haslam and Andrew Barry, if they had it to do over again, would not have done that. And what's further, they would have kept Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield, I have plenty to say about him. I think he's one of the most fun players to watch. And he goes to Cleveland. First pick, good for him, well-deserved. They didn't win a game this season before. Junk. They purposely went 0-16 to get the first overall pick, and it didn't exactly work out. Baker went in there and embraced the whole city of Cleveland, finally got into the playoffs, and then they were like, oh, we can get this guy to pay him the most <laughs> that any player has ever made in the NFL. Guaranteed. Guaranteed! Baker Mayfield has been beaten up by the Cleveland Browns, but by pro football in general. And yeah, he's a millionaire and so is Jared Goff a millionaire, but he got the crap kicked out of him on his way out of Los Angeles and sent up to Siberia, aka Detroit, which is like, poor guy. <laughs> he used to be the Lions QB on oh, that poor sap. And now they're both very likable, aren't they? They're much more likable than they were five years ago. The only way to have a redemption story is to get benched and then prove everybody wrong. And I hated Baker Mayfield because when Georgia played Oklahoma in the Rose Bowl, right. I'm like him and his stupid <laughs> headband and he's dancing in my end zone and our players are warming up and he's dancing around, listening to his headphones. It's so disrespectful. And then we beat him in the Rose Bowl and I'm like, ha! And then he gets picked first and I'm like, what? This loser? I don't even like this guy. And then the more I hear him talk and then I see him on Hard Knocks and then I see his stupid commercials and he's sitting in a stadium and I'm like, do I like Baker Mayfield? I cannot like Baker, Baker Mayfield. I, this is the guy I hate. And then all of a sudden I start like, the more and more he gets crapped on and on and thrown away. I'm like, no. You're wrong with Goff. It's very similar because he didn't look like a genius on Hard Knocks, you know? But he was also young and like these guys have to grow and learn and like that's part of the learning curve as a quarterback. And and I really feel for these quarterbacks that just get tossed aside. He felt like the NFL quarterback equivalent of a trust fund baby, right? Like he had the 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 golden boy, the flaxen hair, and he's yeah. from California, and he has yeah. a live arm and everything. And it's like this is all so easy for you. You don't you're, you don't seem stressed by any of it, and I don't care for it. They go to the Super Bowl, and right. like it doesn't feel like it was him that took them to the Super Bowl, right? Then they win as soon as he leaves. He needed this redemption, and like this was the one game he needed to win. And I feel like. Obviously, he wants to win a Super Bowl, but as long as he won, Jared Goff won that game against the Rams at home in Detroit. He was like Stafford might have taken the Rams to the Super Bowl, but he didn't win a playoff game in Detroit, and I have.